welcome to our video tutorial for this heart cat bandana that you can see Melba wearing here. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe and we hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so to make this uh, heart cat bandana, you'll need yarn in at least two colours. I'm going to go with three, and you can use anywhere up to six colours for this pattern. So uh, if you want a similar sort of look and size to me, then you'll go for a yarn that's similar to this. This is a cotton acrylic blend, all three of these. Um, they're about a three weight. And the one I made for winter, winter version, let me just bring that in. Um, I also used uh, about a three weight yarn um, in three colors. So that's that one there. So um, you can check the pictures of Melba wearing this and just, you know, check out the proportions. She's, um, you know, she's not a large cat. She's sort of small to medium sized adult cat. So you can, you know, see the proportion this works out. If you want to make it larger, you would use a larger hook size and a larger weight yarn. Um, just bear in mind that if it's too large in the main, in this main bandana area, it won't sit very well. So you just want to make sure it's not too large in that main bandana area. And then, of course, you can adjust the tie length to create the next circumference that you want. Any, you know, you can size this to any, any size you want. You'll need a crochet hook that corresponds to your yarn, and I'm using four millimeters. You'll need some scissors to snip your ends, a darning needle to weave in ends. And you might want to have on hand a tape measure to take a measurement of your cat's neck circumference. Although that's only optional, I'll include a, um, a guide to standard cat sizes in the description box below. You can work from that. And as long as you've got a ballpark figure for your cat's neck circumference, then you, know, you can size this pretty easily just by adjusting the length of the ties, as I said before. Okay, so to make these heart cat bandanas, you'll need to know how to make a slip knot on your hook, how to create a chain, how to uh, half double crochet, which is the main area here. You'll need to know for this border area where we just start to shape it slightly into a bandana shape, more bandana shape, you will need to know how to double crochet. And then in the border here, single crochets, uh, all in US terminology. And then making a chain and slip stitching down the chain to create the ties. Uh, other techniques include an optional invisible finishing stitch. I will show you how I do that just to finish off so you disguise your where you finish. Um, and weaving in your ends at the end. So you'll weave all your ends into the back. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so take your color one and you'll make a slip knot onto your hook, however you do that. And then we're going to chain 14. and 14. Okay, so starting from the second chain from the hook, we're going to um, place three half double crochets in that chain. So you can work, there's two ways you can work into your chain. You can either work just into this top loop, which is what I prefer to do, or you can work into the two loops. So the top loop, and you can pick up this back loop here if you want to. Okay, now it's, like I said, it's up to you. Um, if you work only into that top loop like I do, um, it's easier, your chain keeps its shape a little bit more and it's easier to sh see the next chain. I, d I just find I get a little bit lost if I work into both because it kind of misshapes my chain and it could be just my technique, you might have no trouble with it, but um, I prefer to work into that, just that top chain. Now it does leave a little bit looser area in the center of your work, but um, I prefer that to my chain getting all misshaped, which is what tends to happen for me. Um, again, 
you might have no trouble so you might be fine to work into both of those loops and then when we work down the other side of the chain you'll just have that one loop to work into so up to you so anyway regardless we're going to place three half double crochets in that second chain from the hook two and three in the next four chains we're placing one half double crochet one oops two three and four then we're going to skip three chains one two three into that fourth chain we're going to work our half double crochets again so we're just creating the little peak on the end of the heart so at the tip of the heart this is that's what this is creating here so in the next four chains place your four half double crochets so one in each chain just to mirror what we've already done on the other side on the other side of what will be the peak so that's my last one and then in that last chain you're going to once again mirror what you've done on this other end and you're going to place your three half double crochets into that final chain one and two and that one's split so let's just go back and two oh this yarn is definitely a bit splitty forgive me two let's try that again two and last one three okay now we're going to work down the other side of the chain as I mentioned and you can work in your tail as you go or you can just weave that in later now just don't work into the other side of that first chain because that's you've already worked into that chain okay so you've got you want to work into each of these chains moving along so we're going to mirror what we've done on this side which is four okay so place your four half double crochets up to your chain space three Oops, split again three so you're just working into that what is now the top loop because you've turned your work but what was the second loop of that of the chain and then in the chain space you're going to work two half double crochets separated by a chain two and then two half double crochets back in that same chain space one and two so four half double crochets in that chain three space and they're separated by the so the chain two and is in between two sets of two half double crochets hopefully that makes makes sense two half double crochets chain two two half double crochets back in that chain space then we've got four chains to work into along this other side so just don't try be careful that you don't miss that one right next to those your chain space because it can sometimes get a little bit hidden so that's one two and three and four in one in that last chain there now if you want to change color here you can um, I'm not changing color but if you wanted to change color you would take your next color 
And so into that first stitch, you will slip stitch, okay? So you'll either slip stitch with the same color, if you're not changing color like me, so you'll just slip stitch. Or if you're changing color, the way I change color here is I just place my new color over top of my hook. Well, actually, forgive me, I, I insert my hook first, then place my new color, and I do the slip stitch with my new color. Okay? And then I pull all the ends nice and tight to make sure my color change is not very obvious. And then I'll chain one and I'll continue on with my new color. Okay, but I'm not changing color here. If you are, that's fine. Go ahead and change your color. I'm just going to slip stitch with my same color. Oh, I'm just going to slip stitch with my same color. So slip stitch, ignore the, the, the chain that's there. That first chain that you skipped at the beginning. And just slip stitch into your first stitch, your first half double crochet in that set of three. Okay, now we're moving on to round two, so chain one, and we're going to work into that same stitch that we slip stitched into, okay, so underneath the chain we're placing two half double crochets, so sorry about this yarn splitting, that must be painful to watch, <laughs> oh, this cotton splits a bit. Okay, so two half double crochets underneath the chain, so in the same chain, that, in the same stitch that you slip stitched into. Oh man, it's really splitty at this little point. We'll get there, let's try and wind it around a little bit, there we go. So two half double crochets. One and two. So in those those three half double crochets that we, we started with, we're going to place two half double crochets in each of those stitches. So I've done it in the first one, this is our second one. So two half double crochets in that next stitch, that second stitch, and then in the third stitch, two half double crochets. Okay, so that gets us around the little, the little corners of the hearts, those rounded edges of the hearts. Okay, now we're going to work down across, so we're going to work down and up, and we're going to repeat our, our uh, um, increases around this edge as well. So we're going to work into, we're going to skip three in the center here, three stitches, okay. So you'll work in the next three stitches, you'll work your half double crochet. One, two, and three. Now you're going to skip three, so one, two, three, and then you're going to work up the other side. So one, two, three, into that fourth one going to place a half double crochet, then the next stitch, a half double crochet, and the next stitch a half double crochet. And that will bring you to your, your three stitches on the end, edge there, and in each of those you're going to place two half double crochets to mirror the other side. One and two. Gosh, this hard, yarn's hard to work with today. One, two, two in the next. And two. And then in that third, two. One and two. Okay, so we've got round both corners, or, you know, heart edges. Now we're going to work all the way down until we get to that chain space. So just place one half double crochet in each stitch until we get to that chain space. 
So that's the chain two space at the bottom there. Well, yeah, it's at the tip of our heart, the bottom tip of our heart. And then we're just going to do the same as what we did for the previous round. So we're going to place our two half double crochets. One and two. Ay, ay, ay. And two. And then we're going to chain two. One and two. And then two half double crochets back into that same chain space. One and two. And then we're going to just work one half double crochet in each stitch all the way to the end of this round. And two. Three. And I'm just going to have to join my yarn, so I'll be right back. And just finishing off this second round. One, two. So we've already worked underneath the chain, so we don't need to work into that stitch underneath the chain again. We'll, we're just going to slip stitch into our first stitch. Okay, so take your next colour if you're changing colour, which you know you most likely will be here so just slip stitch into inserting into that first stitch there so inserting your hook can sometimes be a little bit tight and then we're going to change color by pulling up a loop of our new color and it is a little bit tight in there there we go and then we're going to pull on our ends and make sure we've got a nice seamless color change so once again you change colors in your own way if you want to and then you'll just chain one now you can snip off your your color one here and we'll come back to it later now you can once again work in your tail if you want to but we're going to work once again underneath that chain in the first stitch so into the stitch that you slip stitched into we're going to place our two half double crochets one and two and i'm working in my tail you don't have to it's up to you let's just pull on that end again just make sure once again make sure those color changes are nice and tense nice and taut in there and then, so we've placed our two half double crochets in that first stitch. Now we're just, if you're familiar with increasing in the round, that's basically what we're going to do here. So we're going to place in the next stitch one half double crochet, in the next two half double crochets, in the next one, and then in the next two. And then to finish off our little increase around the curves of the heart there, we're just going to place one. Okay, so once again we're going to work down to where we skip our stitches. So this time it's just two stitches, one and two. And we're going to skip those three in the center there, one, two, three. Half double crochet in the fourth stitch across. And then we've got two stitches up this side, one same as the other side. So we're basically mirroring, okay? So they're mirror images of each other, these two sides. And so what we're going to do is we're going to work um, that, that little repeat increase in reverse. So instead of working two, one, two, one, we're going to go one, two, one, two, okay? So in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch two half double crochets one and two Oops. 
in the next stitch one I don't know if you can hear Melba munching in the background there <laughs> she's eating two one and two and then we've got one more repeat so one and then two okay so hopefully that makes sense so it's these these two sides are completely mirror images of each other okay and then we're just working our one half double crochet along this edge just one in each each stitch until we get to our little tip of heart which we're going to work the same way so we're working the two half double crochets chain two I've got one more stitch there no that's it two two half double crochets and then a chain two oops once again splitting and then that makes two chain two and then once again now two half double crochets one and two and then one in each stitch all the way along until we reach the end of this round one, two, which is round three. And final one. Okay, so I'm changing colour again here. You may or may not be, depending on how you're working your colours. So I'm going to change to colour three. So I'll just do the same technique, so working into that first stitch, pulling up my loop, and slip stitching with my new colour. And I can snip off my, my colour too, here now, just to make things a bit less messy at the back there. I'll snip that off and I'll just make sure that my ends are all pulled nice and tightly so basically the tighter you pull this the the more seamless your color change so just make sure you're pulling on all the relevant ends you can work in your tail if you want to and then we're going to start our new round the same way. So working underneath the chain, so into that same stitch that you slip stitched into, you're going to place your two half double crochets, and I just need to pull that a little bit tighter. There we go, one, and two. So just pull those. Now we're continuing to make our increases. So this time in between our two, we're going to actually let me just bring my tail with me. I'm going to do that. So we're going to place one in the next two stitches. One each in the next two stitches. Then continuing our increase, we're going to place two half double crochets in the next one and two one in the next two and then two and then finally one in the next two to finish off our little increase repeat one and two now we're going to work down to our three in the center that we skip so we've, this time we've just got one stitch on each side of the oops 
on each side of the skip, on each side of the three that we skip. So one, and then skip your three, work your half double crochet into your fourth stitch, or your, yeah, your fourth stitch along, that's my tail. Actually, let's take that tail out of there. I'll snip it off before we go across there. And then we've got, so we once again we're mirroring, sorry, shaking the camera. Once again we're mirroring this increase here. So we want to place one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then, so just make sure that your work's not getting out of whack here. Because it can be a little bit of a stretch across that, across that those three that you skip now. You just want to kind of not miss, like make sure your work's not misshaping. But you want to make sure those three that you skip in there. Actually, I'm just gonna let's just snip off that end so I can see what's going on under there. So you just want to make sure that it's sitting nice and flat. And so sorry, where we're at. So. We've put our our stitch in the after the after we've skipped two, and then in the next stitch to mirror our repeat on the other side, we're placing two in the same stitch, and then one in the next two, one, and two, two in the next. One and two and then one more repeat. So one in the next two and then we finish off with our two. One and two. Okay, once again just make sure everything's lying nice and flat. And then your one half double crochet. So I'll leave you to finish off this next round. Or the sorry, finish yeah, finish off this round. So you're just going to place your one half double crochet in each stitch to the chain space. Chain space as before, so two, chain two, two, and then one half double crochet in each of the stitches along this edge. So I'm going to finish that off off camera and I'll meet you once we get round here. Okay, so I finished off that round and I'm just going to change colour once again. So slip stitching into that first stitch. Oh, actually I've missed a stitch there. Beg your pardon. Missed a stitch in there. So now I'm going to slip stitch and change my colour. And once again, make sure everything's pulled nice and tight. So now we're up to working around this around here so this is where we're just going to shape our heart a little bit more into more like a bandana shape okay and then we're going to finish off the point so in this in this first round of this edge area we've got some double crochets in there and some single crochets and then we're just adding a single crochet border okay and the ties okay so you can do this this outer edge area in the same color or you can you know you can do it in whatever color you like so just chain my one there now to start off this round we're going to do the same thing so we're going to work our half double crochets underneath that chain so two half double crochets underneath the chain That's one and two. And two. And I just need to pull that 
colour change a little bit tighter in the back there and this one okay and then we're going to we're going to once again do our increasing in the round so this time we're placing three half double crochets in between each of the increases one and two and three so that's the first repeat which we're doing in half double crochets okay and the next two um, parts of the repeat so I'm just going to snip off my snip off my cream there the next two parts of the repeat we're going to do in double crochets okay so in the next stitch two double crochets in the next three stitches one double crochet each one two still the problem of the splitting yarn and two And three and then in the next two two double crochets one and two and then in the next three one double crochet each two and three now we're not going to be skipping any in this round so we're just going to work all the way across. So we're going to work until we are starting our next repeat again. So we're starting, uh, where are we starting? So we've done our one, two, three. So we've got half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, so instead of skipping the three, we're just doing our three half double crochets across there. And then we're going to start our repeat. So we're back to double crochet. So once again, we're mirroring exactly what we did on the other side. So in the next oh, split yarn once again so sorry this must be incredibly painful watching me with struggling with this split yarn so three double crochets so one in each one in each stitch in the next two double crochets and two and then three once again and once again split yarn oh, I love I love this cotton acrylic but man it splits the colors are beautifully vibrant but it splits so one in the next three one each in the next three and then two in the next and I'll just make sure that's nice and flat and then we're going to work our half double crochets so we've got three half double crochets one in each of the next three stitches one and and three and then in that last one two last one of this repeat around the around the curves there two so we've mirrored what we've done on the other side okay and actually I think about you what you could do is work underneath that see that stitch in the center there I'm actually um, I'm actually going to go back, but 
you, what you'll do is you'll continue on the whole of the rest of this next row. I'm, I'm actually going to go back. Sorry, I'm thinking ahead, but um, I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to pull up that little loop and I'm going to work into the, just into that chain space. See how it's just um, left that hanging down, and I'm just going to I'm going to pull that up by working my stitch into just into that space. Anyway, that's just me being a little bit fussy. But just to finish off this round, we're just going to work single crochets all the way around. One in each stitch. Now when we get to this, this uh, chain space here, we're just going to work four um, single crochets without the, the chain in between. Okay, So you'll just do four single crochets in that chain space. And then you'll just work single crochets along this edge until you get back to here. And then we'll have one more round left. And I'm just, like I said, I'm going to go back and I'm just, just because I'm a little bit fussy, I'm just going to fix that up. I just don't like that little bit hanging down there. So I'm going to fix that up. So you'll go, like I said, single crochet all the way down, four single crochets here to turn and then single crochets all the way down. So I'll meet you once we get back to here. Okay, that's what I did just to pick up that little that little loop underneath. It it almost doesn't matter because this is against the chin, you know, underneath the chin anyway, so it's not a big deal, but I just think that looks a little bit neater. Anyway, continue on. Okay, so I'm just slip stitching into my first stitch there. And I've got one more round. So this is where we add our single crochet border and we add our ties. Now, what you can do before you start this round is you can um, work out where you want your ties to be. So you can, um, you know, you want them to be a mirror image of each other again. So I'm going to work my ties about here and here. Now you can mark this with a stitch marker if you want to, but I'm just going to kind of wing it and go along. So chain your one and place your single crochet one in each stitch until you get to where you want to place your first tie. So this is where you can size it according to you know how how you want the uh, next circumference to be. So you can chain as long as you want for your your neckties and you can adjust the sizing like that. I like so I can have a tie a nice bow in the in the ties behind Melba's neck. So yeah, I might just go one more and then I'm going to start my tie chain from there. So from there will be good. So I'm going to chain Probably about 60 chains, maybe 50, about 50 to 60 chains. So you go ahead and chain the length that you need for your tie. And then um, I'll meet you at the end and we'll, we'll just start together with the slip stitch. And then of course we're going to work our single crochets all the way along and we're going to create our second tie as well. So I'll meet you once I've chained my length. Okay, so now we're just going to slip stitch starting from the second chain from the hook. Just slip stitch our way back down the chain to create our tie. So you go ahead and do that. Slip stitch your way all the way down. And then once you get to the base of your tie, place a place a single crochet back into that same um, that same stitch where your, your chain is coming from. Work your single crochets to the place where you want your next tie to be. And then you're going to work single crochets all the way around until you get back to the end of this round. So I'm going to finish off my first tie, create my second tie, and then I'm going to meet you back here. So see you shortly. Okay, so I've just placed my last... Uh, single crochet in that row. Now I'm going to give you, you can just slip stitch to join if you want to, but I'm going to give you the option of doing the invisible finishing stitch. So at your last stitch you'll just pull out a length of your yarn and this will make the ending of your of your work completely invisible. 
So you just cut off, leave a small, you know, just a normal size tail. And then what you're going to do is you're going to basically sew a stitch just to disguise your beginning and ending there. So thread your darning needle and find your first stitch, so not the chain, your first stitch, and you're just going to place your, your needle underneath both loops of that last stitch. Pull your, pull your yarn through. And then we're going to go down through the center of the last stitch and out the back. And you can see what that does. See how basically you just want to adjust the tension so it's about the same as the stitches around it. And you can't see where the ending is. And then this will just get woven into the back here. So just weave in your, your tail ends. I've got a few to weave in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. So I'm kind of assuming that you know how to weave in a tail end. You'll just weave the end along the stitches in the back of your work just to secure it and disguise it although it's sitting at the back so it doesn't have to be you know super neat and disguised and then it's a good idea to double back not exactly where you've come from of course it will just unravel but just secure your end in the back there And then you'll snip off, snip off your excess tail like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just weave in the rest of my ends. I think a few of them I've worked in the tail ends and some of them I haven't. What you can do too with the ones that are sort of close together, if you want to, you can tie a little knot in them just to secure them even further, but you know, for me that's not necessarily necessary in this project. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in my ends and we'll come back and finish off together. Okay, and there's my finished heart cat bandana. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I've uh, filmed this one in time for Valentine's Day. So, you know, if you're looking for something to make for your cat for Valentine's Day, then um, maybe this is the thing. Um, I would love to see this actually done in a rainbow of colors. I think it would look just spectacular as a rainbow. So if any of you make it in a rainbow, please send along photos to Catventurous. Well, send along your photos however you've made it. I would love to see your creativity. Meet your cat. So send those along to catventurous.community at gmail.com or you can tag us on social media at catventurous.crochet. So, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this pattern. I think it's a little bit of fun. And, uh, yeah, hope to see you soon. Thanks very much. Bye. Hi, everyone, and welcome to our video tutorial. <laughs> That's not what Hi, everyone, and welcome. Ready, Ava? Mm. Yeah, let's do it. Mm. Let's do it. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> okay, one more. Ready? Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Don't be mad. What are you mad about? What are you mad about? <laughs> Don't be mad. Okay, one more member. Let's go. <laughs> She's the bit mad today. What are you mad about? There's nothing to be mad about. Okay, one more. One more. Can we do just one more? She's ready to get down. 
Okay.